Hey guys, this is Just for again. I wanna share to you one of my Ronin builds, and I call this one the supportive Ronin builds. Uh, disclaimer: This is not the best support build of all. This is just the build that I have and that I mostly use on Nightmare Survival or raids or story. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, you can see here in my techniques. Uh, you can just check it out. Uh, for, uh, I did use the healing and sense skill and for the healing purposes and next is the uh, decreased cast ability which is a big help so I can use more often on my healing incense and more healing and uh, I mean the next technique is the 50% more healing so I can get more healing so my longevity of the game will be better and next if, of course is my Izanami is on healing modification for my equipments, uh, my Moon Katana, which is my favorite, uh, the first skill is, ah, uh, first attribute is a perfect parry window. Basically, you can see here, overall, is, uh, my defensive game is uh, on perfect parry. I did modify it for more perfect parry window, and and the counter damage is also good. And the ability of my Moon Katana is the intimidate, intimidating counter, which has a 50% chance to deal nearby enemies uh, the good thing about this is that it doesn't deal great damage to other enemies but it staggers not staggers more like uh, it shocks the enemy for like a one second which is a good thing for crowd control and my legendary bomb uh, not yeah it's this legendary bomb is my basically my healing and my crowd control uh, I did increase the blast radius so that you know more radius, more explosion. The status effect duration for my a little bit of fire damage on my dirt throw, which is a good one. Uh, flash bomb, which is the greatest crowd control in this game, because it can stun every enemy there is. And for my running charm, which is basically the same from my scorching, which is more more incense radius and more incense duration. And yes, the ability of my running charm is. Reaching parry, which means if I get a uh, great, um, if I get a uh, perfect parry, I get a healing and a great amount of resolve gain, which is I uh, like it, and it works well with the intimidating counter with my perfect parry window and yeah, the intimidating counter, my katana and the throw. And the third, the third throw is one of my uh, also good crowd control purposes. And thus, I did also increase my perfect body window on that, and damage increase for the damage increase for that specific uh, ghost weapon. It does increase match damage, and also one good thing about the dirt throw is that it's an AOE. So if the enemies in front of you are crowded, like they are stick together, use it, and most most of them are just stunned for a little bit. Not stunned, yeah, basically stunned. Just crowd control, I guess. Uh, it is it it is fired up because I have a status effect duration, so I guess I can use that as well. Uh, but you can also modify this to a rancid, where you can weaken the enemies. But that's just me. I want more fire than gets to weaken. Anyways, uh, yeah, the smoke bomb didn't change at all. It's basically just the smoke bomb, just for me to stop the enemies from from me to attacking. Which is a good thing for when I get pinned down by the Tengus, by the Onis, and by the Mongols. And I also, get, and I am uh, as a Ronin, I am also a, a ammunition dependent. I need bombs to control the enemies. I need bombs to heal me. I need bombs to save my teammates. So yeah, it's ammunition is kind of like the best uh, modification for the smoke bombs. So yeah. Uh, so basically, this build is more on a defensive and a crowd control. I get uh, I get great amount of resolve by perfect parry. Uh, I I know that you won't get much parry win perfect parry when dealing with Onis because a lot of Onis have unblockable attacks, but most but they they still have this fast blockable attack. So you might as well use it well use it take as your advantages and the crowd control is basically my bomb and my dirt throw use it wisely yeah use use the flash bomb 
uh, use a flash bomb from the strongest onis and you can just deal damage with them and my concussion bomb is basically my healing and my push away bomb yeah so i did uh, a healing intense radius healing intense duration so i get more healing more radius better healing purposes and yeah my healing is an army yeah, of course everyone gets healed uh, if you are healing around in don't hoard your ultimate if you're in if your teammates are getting great damage to the waves to the enemies which is uh, I advise you that use it not just don't just use it when someone is down because if you get down if, if you're the only running and, and if you get down then the priority of your teammate is to go right at you and it can cost you the the waypoint I mean not waypoint, the defense point of the survival or some objectives of the game so my advice is as a Ronin you should always survive you should all whatever happens you should always stay up you should always be alive and that's it for my supportive Ronin build I can modify this more to be better if you want yeah but this in, this build is hasn't doesn't have a great offensive so this is basically like if I am the only Ronin at the game this is my build on my nightmare on the raid missions so yeah uh, that's it and thanks for watching hope you have a wonderful day uh, see you on the next video see ya oh yeah sorry <laughs>